Welcome to No Place Like Home, coming to you on Pinellas County Connection TV. The sponsor of the show is the Housing Finance Authority of Pinellas County. The HFA helps first-time home buyers in Pinellas, Pasco, and Polk counties achieve their dream of home ownership. Working through a specialized group of lenders, the HFA offers a low rate on its 30-year fixed mortgage and helps with down payment and closing costs, too. Please visit our website, www pinellascounty.org forward slash HFA. For more information or comments about the show, call us at 727-223-6419. I'm Carmen Lemberg alongside Julian Hills, your host for today's show. Hey. Good morning. How are you? I cannot believe that we're already into February. The year's half gone. I'm already counting down to Christmas for next year. I know. Just think about this. The year 3000 is only 81 years away. I'm not going to make it. Well, you know. (laughs) You never know. You never know. Medicine could make big leaps. (laughs) I'm getting a little ahead of ourselves. (laughs) Today, we have have actually a very informative topic that hopefully someone who sees this could take advantage of. It's my pleasure to introduce our guest, Josh Chance, with Ambulance Billing and Financial Services Division of the Safety and Emergency Services Department here in Pinellas County. Josh is a graduate of St. Petersburg College. He's been with the county for almost 10 years, and he's lived in Pinellas County for 30 years, even though he doesn't look that that it's possible. He he must be 30. Josh is the project coordinator for the First Care Ambulance Membership Program. So, Josh, we'd like to welcome you to the show this morning. And this is going to be a very informative um, topic for our citizens. So please give us an overview of what the program is. Thank you for having me on the show. Uh, The First Care Ambulance Membership is an annual program to financially assist anyone needing transport via our SinStar Ambulance Service by covering portions of their transportation bill. The program was created when the EMS system went to a countywide response model as a support mechanism to the community. Wow. So why should people join the plan, and is there a target market this plan would benefit most? The membership provides a peace of mind in case you need ambulance transportation, and it's available to all interested. You do not have to be a resident of Pinellas County. People that would benefit most from this program would be anyone that believes they may be transported by an ambulance in the future. This service is for people who may have emergencies as well as people who regularly have um, medically necessary transport. Do you have any information what kind of patients that those kinds of people might be? Well, some examples of that may be um, if you are a rehab uh, or needing rehab where there's a concern within your medical condition that would require monitoring during a transport. Uh, So where a stretcher van or a wheelchair van wouldn't quite serve your needs due to your medical condition and an ambulance is necessary. Um, You having a rehab or even dialysis for that matter is a requirement um, to make it to that service in a healthy manner. Uh, So you may need an ambulance for that and that would be a perfect uh, person that would need this program. Yeah, I was wondering. So it's probably good also because you were talking about target markets and when Carmen asked you. So like maybe like people like in maybe assistant living facilities, is that often sometimes? If their condition warrants the need or they could foresee the need for an ambulance in the, within the year, they, they could definitely benefit from, from the program. Um, the, the program does come with a fee, uh, but after one ambulance transport that essentially pays for itself. Oh, that segues nicely to what I was going to ask you. What is the cost and what services are covered? So we have two options, an individual and family option. For 2019, the individual membership will run $68, and a family membership will be $103. And uh, for new enrollees, because we're in February now, that would include February or March if they signed up now. Generally, the program runs from April to March of the following year. And it would cover portions of the ambulance transportation fees that your insurance typically would not cover. So for a deductible or co-payment, it's going to cover that full portion. Uh, If the insurance would deny the transportation for any reason, the membership would cover 50%. 
And for those that were uninsured, it would actually cover 20% of their fee. So can you go into a little more detail about that, about how it works with existing insurance plans? So once you sign up for the uh, membership, if you're transported, we would submit your uh, bill to the insurance plan. And the insurance plan, obviously, uh, there's a lot of mixture of insurance plans out there. uh, So the coverage might vary. Once the insurance returns what they will pay, whatever portion is left, our staff would be automatically linking your account to your membership and then apply the membership portion. And whatever remainder would then be coming to you uh, in the form of the invoice showing both the insurance payments as well as the the membership applied portion. Hmm, Okay. And you said that there is an individual and family. So families can also take... Correct. Uh, so for the one family membership, you, uh, as long as you're living in the same household, your blood relative, or by marriage, uh, it'll cover the whole family, uh, and there's no limitation as to how many transports would be needed. Something that you said to me sounded like a good benefit, that even though the program works, runs from April to March 31st, but if you sign now, like in February, you can get February covered, and and March covered as well. So that's almost like getting a two extra months on that. Correct. You get an added bonus of if you sign up before the actual membership year, which again is April through March of the following year, uh, you would get the additional months of February and March. So if someone just discovers this program in like July, can they still sign up for it? Yes, it's available to sign up year round. However, the annual enrollment free fee is not prorated. Uh, But again, the benefits, if you know or you most likely feel like you'll have an ambulance transportation during that period, the membership will pay for itself after one transport. So, I mean, that would even work for people who might, like you say, be in rehab or something, and they won't need this for years and years, but it might be for a period of six or eight months. It would still be a benefit if they knew they were going to be needing it just for six or eight months to go ahead and sign up. Well, that's Correct. Good to know. Yeah, um, because one mem- one trip will actually pay for itself. So if you had more, if you knew you're going to need more than one, you would definitely that would definitely right. You would definitely <laughs> increase your savings. The more trips that if you you know unfortunately with rehab or something like of that nature, obviously you don't want to have to do that. But if you know it's coming, it's a good, great benefit. Do you do any um, marketing work, like with physical therapy places, cancer treatment centers, any, any, anything like that to help? Because I, I know uh, uh, just during the holidays, someone I'm very close with was diagnosed with cancer, and so now they're going every other week for their, for their treatments and stuff, and if it necessitated them being in an ambulance, then that would be something that would benefit them. So I don't know if you go out and talk to places like that, too. We, we do offer uh, some in-person uh, presentations. Uh, we also have information available on our website at pinellascounty.org forward slash first care. Okay. Um, we try when we roll out the program to, uh, like, uh, for instance, this year we'll be going to some of the uh, skilled nursing facilities and hospital facilities that frequently use ambulance transports to talk to the program directors, offer them that presentation, at the very least drop off some flyers to see if they can put them in their lobbies and stuff, such. Uh, so y- we could explore, you know, some of those other places such as cancer centers I was gonna to say, Yeah, because going to all base. those people, they're going to know the – they're going to have the people right there in front of them, especially at the hospital, right. and say – Oh, look, we know about this program. You should look into it. So that's really a great idea. Josh, you mentioned the website. Could you tell us more of what kind of information, if someone's watching this right now and they want to go, what kind of stuff is on the website? So we have uh, frequently asked question videos. We have the actual application packet, which would include the application. It's a one-page application uh, with the contract agreement, as well as some frequently asked questions, uh, as well as a slideshow that it can give you more detailed information, including examples of different scenarios, such as whether you have full coverage insurance or you didn't have insurance and how that would play out. And also, could you explain the process of if someone watches it and they want to join, what do they do? Can they get all the information from the website and then how do they join? 
Yes, yeah, so they could get the, the if they the PDF application is available in a uh, fillable form, so they could fill out the form. They would still need to print it and sign it and return it to our office with the uh, the annual fee. And once those two items are received in completion, you're uh, basically added to the membership program at that time. Okay, because I, I was just my next question was going to be: Is there anything like any income restrictions or anything like that, or can anybody who needs it join? Anybody that needs it can join the program. Yeah, there's no exclusion. You don't have to be a Pinellas County resident. You uh, don't? It would, yes, it would also be beneficial if uh, we have Canadian snowbirds. That's a good mix of our, our population here during the year. Uh, even if you're here for six months and you feel like you may want to just have that a- uh-huh. added peace of mind, you can sign up. And also people in neighboring counties that might use facilities in Pinellas County, right? Correct, and and that's an important note. Um, it is limited to the Pinellas County Sunstar Ambulance Service. So, even if you're an out of county residence, if you th- think you'll be using our Pinellas County service for part of your uh, medical needs, then yes, they could sign up for it as well. But even if they're coming into Pinellas County for treatment, if they're living in Pasco County, you wouldn't go up to Pasco and pick them up, would you? No. Uh, most likely, the service in Pasco might transport them, but if they're Perhaps they're coming to, let's say someone's coming to Pinellas for a procedure, and so they didn't need the transport into the facility, but they needed that transport out of the facility from Pinellas. That would be where our ambulance oh, service so would, would transport them Pinellas back. would Pinellas to take them back to yes, Pasco. Yes, exactly. That's good to know because that, that makes a big difference when yes. people are looking at it and thinking about it. Do you have any... Um, do you know if there's any people with certain conditions that tend to use it more, or is it just a, a very different variety of, of people who are members? We have a good uh, mix of variety of people. Um, we can't really get into the diagnoses of, of things like that, but we do definitely have, um, as you age, our older population tends to be a major purchaser of it. I can see that. Yeah. That, that's a very important that they know this is available to them and that this is a service that the county offers. And really, the you know, the membership fees are, are very, very nominal and reasonable. And and as you know, transport can rack, you know, the cost can rack up if you need it Tell a lot. What, the first time I ever had to go in an ambulance, I was pretty shocked. <laughs> and my insurance company covered zero. <laughs> so, see, that... You know, good to know. Good yeah. to know that this is out there. So that's another thing to check is make sure bef- before you apply, call your insurance company and see what they do and don't cover in ambulances. Yes, because, uh, great point, because a lot of insurance companies, as we know, uh, have high deductibles on certain things, but certain insurance coverage may actually include transportation for ambulance. So it is important to review your insurance coverage before determining if you have the need for this program to make sure that perhaps you have the coverage already. Or that you don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Me, that was crucial. Um, so one last time, what's your website and the phone number? Okay, so anybody interested in the program can either contact our office at 727-582-2008, and that phone number is has a 24-hour voicemail. So even if you call after hours, you can leave them voicemail and somebody can either return your call or send you an application packet in mail. Our website is pinellascounty.org forward slash first care. And that would include the application packet as well as what we discussed with the frequently asked questions and videos. I thought the videos were really good. I went in and I watched them and they're very informative, so I hope that people take advantage of that and go in and, and go to the website and look through it and read what's there. We hope so as well. <laughs> it's a very a very uh, beneficial program. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Yes, Josh. Thank you for <laughs> letting us know about this program. And if you would like to watch us next month or miss any part of this show or view past shows, check out our website or catch us on YouTube. I'm Julian Hills. And I'm Carmen Lambert. Thanks for joining us. Remember to make it a great day.